and welcome back to the channel. Uh, um, again, I'm out with Amy. Say hi, Amy. Hello. And we've come today to Loxley Woods. Uh, where's Loxley Woods exactly? Where are we? On the A39. Between? Ashgar and Shaplock. There you go. So you can find that on a map nice and easily. It's a woodland trust um, woodland. And we've come out today because there are some bluebells to see. Not many, but there are some. And we've already going to see these things down here are called wooden enemies. Wooden enemies. So we're going to have a look, see what's out, listen to the birds, see if we can identify anything, and generally just check the place out. So let's go on. I see this here. That's a vetch. That's a wild sweet pea. That's a wild sweet pea. Yeah. Yeah, That's... if you put it in layman's terms, but the correct term is vetch. Well done for spotting that in there. I, I wouldn't have even notice the different leaf shapes. I'm quite sure that's meadow sweet. That's beautiful to eat. Meadow sweet? Yeah. It looks a bit like mint. Oh, it's the flowers that I've eaten. Somebody battered them and fried them when we had them for pudding. Really? Were they Scottish? Because they batter everything, don't they? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I know that uh, my, fr my American friend Jeff won't mind me mentioning him here. Hi, Jeff. Um, sending me some battered pies, <laughs> which apparently in America are somewhat of a delicacy. Um, and so I'm, I'm going to take one for the team, I'm going to eat one of these things, because I must admit, um, I did once have, um, I did once have a battered Mars bar, deep fried Mars bar. Okay. Which is a Scottish thing. Yeah, it started in Glasgow. Apparently so, yes. But I tell you what, it went off bloody nice. I've only ever done it once. I don't think my body would withstand a second on slow. <laughs> but it was really nice because you bit into it and they made it with chocolate flavoured batter. Yeah. And you bit into it and it was just like, it stayed like a Mars bar. I thought it was just going to be all melty. But it's, you can still see the chocolate and you can see the toffee on the top and the bit underneath until you bit into it and it had no substance and you just got doof and you just got this explosion look at that down there it was there. melty you just got this explosion of really amazing Mars bar in us for want of a better term now what have we got down here I have to ask what does that say? don't know Part of the surrounding area is dedicated in loving memory of Keith E. Chin. Wonderful husband. I didn't know you could do that. You could dedicate, dedicate part of a woodland to somebody. I know you could do that in other places, like benches and different things. Mm. And you can leave stuff in wills, but mm. that's quite lovely, isn't it? Isn't if you it? walk here on a regular basis. Yeah, so somewhere you can go. Yeah. Or even if you don't walk on a regular basis, there's still somewhere to go, isn't it? And down here, Primroses. This is a primrose. It is. Now look at that lovely bank of loveliness over there in the corner. I mean, it's all the stuff we've looked at already, but just look up there. Wow, it's like a carpet of flowers. What are these things called again? Wooden enemies. This is the wooden enemy walk. That's what I'm going to call this video. A walk in the wooden enemies because there seems to be a bucket load of them. Yeah, they're beautiful. Somebody did say that they thought it was the best year they'd seen them here. Really? A study's being done to see if it's um, less pollution. Because, you know, the world was on quiet for a year, wasn't it? Wasn't it? I love these paths as they sort of twist through the woodland like this. It feels more natural, doesn't it? It does. Straight lines out right. I must admit, I do, I do like it also when you can't see anything. Here, black cap. Black cap in the tree. Black cap. I need to come out with my longer lens on my GH5, I think. Yeah. For, for birding. I couldn't tell whether it was a female or male because I couldn't see the colour of its head properly. But so tell me, what what is kind of timetable-wise? What we're we going to see next? Because we've got the 
the watch names here, the, the blue bells are starting to come through. What, what's the timetable for anybody wanting to go out and do their own walk? Well, your blue bells are normally finished by the end of April. Right. So they're going to come and go soon, then, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, and that depends on, I think, like how sunny it is or how warm it is. Yeah, yeah. Because, um, yeah. Obviously, the violets are out. I think that's sweet violets. So they'll be disappearing soon. Mm -hmm. But then you'll get your umbellifers and. I've already forgotten what we were talking about earlier. Your meadow sweet. Meadow sweet will come into flower, your umbellifers will, your lord and ladies. I'm not sure in which order though. Mm -hmm. There's Herb Robert that will be out soon, but most people have got that in their garden. So, yeah. so basically, over the next four weeks, the scene that we're walking through here is going to change dramatically, isn't it? Oh, yeah, and if you come in like summer, late summer, autumn, You've got all the berries and, and the nuts that are on the trees because there's brambles and ivy and honeysuckle and, yeah, lots of different things. So now is a good time to go for a walk. Yeah. So you heard it here first on yeah, Glass sure. Every Gay Wheel. Get those boots on and get out into the woodlands because now is a really good time to see what's going on and just stand. One of the things I always say to people when you get into the woods, stop, sit down on a log if you can and just listen to what's going on around you because you start to focus in on all the little rustles in the undergrowth and you know, the wind in the leaves, the trees, the buzzing of insects, all these little sounds that go to make up the woods. You walk through with other people talking, you, you don't notice. But just go in, sit down, find a quiet place and just chill for 10 minutes. Turn your phone off and just let nature envelop you. It's well worth it. Good for the soul. Good for the soul, thank you. Yes, it is. For sure. It's actually split right at the back. Would that have been pollarding or something when it was young? I have no idea, actually. It doesn't look like it. I mean, there's like a, a branch that's been cut off on this side, but I suppose that would be because it would have gone out across the path. I guess. But otherwise, it doesn't look like it's been pollarded because normally you see it coming out from a bit that's been cut there. Mm. Certainly striking, isn't it? Yeah. Amy very kindly lent me a book a while ago on how to identify trees. Uh, and I'm not able to identify trees anymore yet because they just look all the same. I mean, yes, you get some trees are different to others by quite a lot. Um, but uh, I just, nah, I'll get, I'll get it one day. I will get it one day. Well, I can't no. say anything. I lent you the book. It's my book and I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's very true. <laughs> Obviously, it's not such a good book, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Other books are available. No, it is if you read it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs>
trees, and although there's not there's no leaf cover, as you can see above us up there, uh, it is keeping the rain off us, which is dripping incessantly. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't get too wet because camera gear and rain don't mix, or most of them don't. The one I'm using doesn't, and this one certainly doesn't. It's cool when it does that. There'd have been animal pack before humans used them. This path, that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. that's the kind of thing when I decided to take a shortcut. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of thing we started following. So this would have started probably what as a badger run? Probably. But you do get it if deer go, go over a certain area regular. Badger run in my garden is obvious because I've let the grass grow. These are supposed to be old woods though. I don't know how old, but these woods originally would have gone all the way along the Poldens up to the Bridgewater Junction. Yeah, because the, the bit of the Poldens I walked on the southern end is predominantly wooded. Yeah. Heavily so. Yeah. This is the, uh, the water feature. That I'm not going to go now. <laughs> <laughs> Just short enough. And the blackbirds are really going for it. They are the blackbirds you can hear whistling away, aren't they? Yeah. That one. Yeah. I hope the mics pick those up. I want this so much, but don't know if I can try. Well, this will probably be quite a short film, ladies and gentlemen, because we've. Uh, We've come back to where we started, but we just wanted to come out and see that what the state is here. Um, we probably might come back in a week or two if we hear that the bluebells are out, because apparently this is the place to come for a really good display. But uh, we're back at the car now, so I hope you enjoyed that walk. I know I did. And I learned what, uh, whatever that thing was I learned. What did I learn? Chiff chaff. The chiff chaff. I've learned the chiff chaff noise. Design. Aren't you listening to me now? Screamed all my secrets. Why don't you leave them? Ooh. Is it too good to be true? I want this so much, but don't know. Did you fall?